Chapter 8 Introduction to Visual Programming My First VB.NET Program Let's explore a simple event handling scenario. User will click on a button and a message is displayed. Here, clicking on the button is an event and displaying message is event handling. Opening Visual Studio, click on Start button and select Visual Studio 2017. Creating a new project. VB.NET treats a set of programs as a project. You need to create a project to begin working. On the Start page, click on Create New Project option. In New Project dialog box, go to Visual Basic section and select Windows Forms app. Give project name My First Program. Specify location where you wish to save your project and click OK. The interface will show three main parts. Visual Designer with the default form, Form 1. This form is the main window of your application. Form serves as a container of other controls in your program. Solution Explorer showing your project name and files. Properties window listing the properties and their values for the selected control. Toolbox. The graphical controls which make up your application interface are located in the toolbox. The controls are arranged in various categories like common controls. Depending on the requirement, you can drag a control from the toolbox to the form. Toolbox can be displayed either by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus X or by selecting Toolbox option from View menu. Adding a graphical control to the form. A graphical control can be added onto the form in Design View. Let's add a button control to the form, Form 1. Click on the button control in the toolbox and drag it onto Form 1. Give adequate size to the button. Notice that since the button is selected, properties of the button are displayed in the Properties window. The name of the button is by default Button 1. You can scroll in the Properties panel and change the value of property name for this button to any name you like. But Name Property does not accept any value with a space. Change the value of the property text to Click Me. The text property shows the caption on the button. Next, we need to write the piece of code to display a message to the user on the click of this button. Double click on the button, which will take you to the code editor. VB generates the basic event handling code for you. All you need to do is to write the specific statements for your program. To display message to the user where the cursor is blinking, type the following line of code exactly as follows. Message box dot show VB dot net is fun exclamation mark in double quotes with a parenthesis. Running VB dot net program. To run the program, either press Ctrl plus F5 or open debug menu and start and select Start without debugging option. Program will run and user will be displayed with a form containing the button with the text Click Me. Click on the button. The message you had coded will be displayed. Explanation When we double-clicked on the button in the graphical editor, we were taken to the code editor where the basic program for button click was automatically generated. This is the way Visual Basic automatically binds the piece of code with the graphical component with which user will interact. In our program, whenever user clicks on the button, the click event is raised. In response to this event, the message vb.net is fun is displayed. How does our program come to know what to do when button 1 was clicked? Let's look at the code again. Sub-procedures and event handlers. 
double click on button 1 to go to the code editor. Notice the block private sub button 1 underscore click which ends on end sub. Button 1 underscore click is a sub procedure. A sub procedure is a piece of code that runs as and when desired. Consider the name of the sub procedure button 1 underscore click. This is the combination of control name underscore event name. This pattern in VB binds the control with the event. Button 1 underscore click will execute when button 1 is clicked. A sub procedure that executes in response to an event is called an event handler. Understanding message box object. VB.NET provides an inbuilt object message box. It allows to display messages. By default, the message box shows an OK button. Message box object allows displaying message boxes in various other ways also. Some common ways are summarized below. Message box dot show, VB.NET is fun exclamation mark, in double quotes, comma, welcome in double quotes. The second string is caption of the message box. Message box dot show, VB dot net is fun exclamation mark in double quotes, welcome in double quotes, message box buttons dot yes, no. The third parameter is message box buttons object with a choice to display yes and no buttons. Message box buttons object. This object allows displaying various other buttons in the message box. We can specify these buttons by selecting appropriate choice while writing the code as shown here. Basic graphical controls. We have already seen form control and button control. Let us learn about the following basic controls. Label, text box, list, combo box, radio button, check box. Each of these controls have certain properties which we need to set in order to make their suitable use in our programs. Label and text box. The basic difference between a label and a text box is that a label is not editable whereas user can type text in the text box. Label is suitable to display messages and captions. Text box is used to take user input. List and combo box. List allows the user to select value from the given choice. Combo box is a combo of list and text box. Users can select a value from the list of choices and also key in their own value. Radio button and checkbox. Radio buttons are suitable when user is allowed to select any one of the few given choices. For example, selecting the gender or specifying yes or no for any question etc. Checkboxes allow the user to select multiple choices out of the given ones.